Welcome to Unleashed with the Patriot Sisters. Buckle up, girl, because we're about to spill that tea just like we did in 1773. We light the fire under all things politics. And don't worry, social justice warriors, we're light the fire underneath you too. Why? Because we're inclusive. Prepare to be triggered. Welcome to June, AKA the month where everything LGBTQ is thrown into your face and it looks like the rainbow threw up in every department store across the country. And not in a good way, you know, like reminding us of God's promises. No. It's in a negative way. If you did not know, June is technically the month of celebrating all things LGBTQ+. It's Pride Month. It's let's accept everybody regardless if you think you're a dog month. Um, it's, and that's no offense to those that think they're a dog. Um, woof woof to you. So, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sometimes things just come out of my mouth these days. Anyway, so are we thankful for this little surprise again in 2021? I forgot June was Pride Month until here we are, June 1st. And it's like it literally threw up on every single major corporation, mm-hmm. store, even Target rolled it out a little bit early this year. They were on top of it. Um, but here, who do, who do we owe this delightful surprise in 2021 to? Who deserves all the credit? None other than our very own JoJo. Siwa. Yes. JoJo Siwa. Remember JoJo? Little JoJo with the bow in Wait, her why hair? are you talking about JoJo Siwa? Oh. Joe Biden. Well, JoJo Siwa also came out as gay. Okay. Well, actually, I don't... We she doesn't don't, know what she is. We don't think... Okay, hold on. I Her and Demi confused. are confused. I thought we were talking about JoJo, but then I got confused because then you're like, we thank this whole month to JoJo. And I was like... Oh, because well, JoJo's into rainbows and like flamboyant well, she, stuff. And also, she's she just came out recently. Yeah. But like... This I is disgusting. Like, Can I we was, not talk about I was con- Well, hold on. I was confused for a second because I was like, wait, we don't... We don't... Why is JoJo Siwa have anything to do with this? <laughs> But JoJo Siwa apparently is now gay or lesbian or something. But we weren't planning on talking about that. The JoJo we're talking about is our nickname. <laughs> it's more for... of a politics thing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> the JoJo we're talking about is Joe Biden. That's our nickname for him to get away. I totally forgot. It's See, a... I don't think about Biden. Yeah. I really don't think about the dude. Yeah. I don't acknowledge Until him. Until he does something stupid. And then I have to think about him. I mean, I think of the, our president, I still think of Trump. So we get, we get to thank our very own Joe Biden for this one. We That's can't, the JoJo we're talking, but, talking about. But though we can't give him all the credits, mm-hmm. no. no. We actually need to go back to Bill Clinton because in um, he was the first one to declare it was June. called Gay and Lesbian Pride Month in 1999. In and, 2000. Do you know why it was labeled Gay and Lesbian? Because that's only that the, was the only option. The only maybe? options back then. Yeah. But don't worry. When We've expanded. We've become more accepting. We yeah. welcome all, including the the community of dogs. And I know. Okay, you have to explain the whole dog thing because some people aren't going to get that. Okay, so there are people, genuine people out there who identify as animals, and they will be asked to be treated like animals. They'll dr- eat from like the ground in a dog bowl. They're really creepy, and we label it's them weird. under this category because they tend to coincide with this community a lot. Yes. They kind of go hand in hand. Because the LGBTQ plus community is ever expanding. They're the plus know. part. They're the plus part. Or are they the LGBTIAQ plus part? IA? What the heck is IA? I, I heard, I saw that one time somewhere. I'm I not doing that. I now. don't either. Anyways, I don't even know what the I and A stand for. Bill Clinton was the first one to bring this into existence when I was around one years old in 1999. Um, and then when Obama came into the picture, every year of his presidency, so all eight years, he declared June as LGBT Pride, Pride Month. Month. But don't worry, when our JoJo Biden, mm-hmm. that one, came into the picture, he yeah. officially declared June as the LGBTQ plus... Pride Month. So we've evolved. We've gone from gay, lesbian, to LGBT, to LGBTQ+. So I would like to see in another four to eight years, what other acronym are we going to come let's, up with? Let's do, um, let's just change June to Trump Month. I'll do that. Because his birthday we love is America in, Month. in June, right? Are you going to Google it? I'm Googling. We're Googling. I think it's June 15th. No, I'm not actually Googling. That's a total lie. Duck, I'm, duck, go. I'm doing duck, duck, go. It's June 14th. So let's just mm-hmm. name June. Wait, are you proud of me? I pulled June 15th. I knew. I know my it's man's close. birthday. It's the 14th, though. What are we going to do for him? Do you I think they're know. having a rally in West Palm? 
We should go. Oh my gosh. That's like in two weeks. When is... Okay, no lo, no more Googling. Flag Day, I forgot. Flag Day is President Trump's birthday, June 14th. I bet you there's something fun happening. I don't know if that for is a fact or not, but there should be something fun happening. Yes. It's a president's birthday. We but, celebrate George Washington's birthday. But can we stop talking okay. about something so exciting and good? This is supposed to be a really is sad, disgusting sad? episode. Oh. About what's Oops. happening to our country mm-hmm. and what we can do about it. Okay. So, if you dare question or deny June as being the LGBTQ plus Pride Month. Can we just call it LGBTQ? I don't like the short. Oh, LGBT. I'm still on that one. LGBT month. Okay. The Pride Month. We'll call it Pride Month. That's better, yeah. Pride Month. I don't give them too much credit. Congrats. You're automatically a racist, a homophobic, um, and you're hated upon for your set of beliefs. From this point forward, moving on. Forever. No take backs. Mm-hmm. Done deal. Like in the package, in the envelope. Sealed. Sent, sealed and sent through snail mail. Like it's coming to you. You will be hated on and you will be canceled by the culture. But but why do we even care? Why people ask, or I know people are going to comment on our stuff this month and be like, why do you care? They don't affect your life. No. But here's the thing. They do. It's affecting your life. It's affecting our life. Every single day. It's affecting your children's life, your siblings' life, and your future kids' life. It will be affected Mm -hmm. depending on what we do about it today. So, for starters, the LGBT community and its avid supporters um, seem to thoroughly enjoy shoving their set of beliefs down our throats without our consent. Mm -hmm. I think usually those group of people are very into consent, you know, like having permission. Consent. Except when it goes against somebody else's beliefs. beliefs. In that case, why would they care? And if you dare... Because question- that, that makes sense. Right. Well, because the left has, has those. Sense. Oh. Well, I was being... I was You're being sarcastic. sarcastic. I wasn't. Okay. Let's try this again. Mm-hmm. Let's sarcasm? Be- or no? No sarcasm. No sarcasm. Because the left, left has, has no sense. sense. That's why they make so much sense. There's a sarcasm. Okay, moving forward. Why is this an issue? Do we say? Do we ask? It's an issue... Because it's become a political movement. This is no longer about giving... um, Let's put aside for a second... It's not a cultural thing anymore. Right. But let's put aside for a second talking about... Should is it wrong? Is it right? Like we will get into that to and what be we believe. A considered part of that community to live is that, that life. So saying? yeah, let's okay. just forget about that. Let's say throw it out. Let's just pretend and negate that. Okay. When it becomes a political movement. It becomes a money-making scheme business. It's no longer about giving equal rights for everybody. Mm -mm. It has now become, because they do in all 50 states, it's now become a political movement and a money-making scheme for major corporations and a mind-control indoctrination camp and tactic. So basically what you're saying is that it's not about the actual individual. Once again, it's mm-hmm. about big monopolies ooh, 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 and putting ooh. stuff back in their wallets, like green moolah. Do you know what that reminds me of? I'm kind of sunburnt. Please don't. Sorry, no. you're, she's a lot I'm darker today. I kind of got burnt over the weekend, Memorial Day. You know what Kamala Harris called a long weekend? Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. I have something Which to say. Stu- okay, sorry. Go on. Do you know what that reminds me of? This whole LGBT was supposed to be about people, but then became about an organization and money. Mm -hmm. Who does that remind you of? A lot of things, but what are you referring to? BLM. It was supposed to be about helping people. The individual. Which, getting the fact that I disagree with that, there needs to be a mass amount of help in that that area. But let's be fair, the black communities are poor. And yes, they overall, do need help. Yes, we need fathers. Mm-hmm. My version of helping might be a little bit different. Better education. Yeah, across so the board. This is the same thing. Things set out for maybe. I don't even want to say a good reason because I don't agree with either of those movements or those rights. But it's become a political scheme, and that's where I definitely jump out of the bus if I wasn't mm-hmm. already on it. So here's our question that we thought of, and also that we're asking our listeners and also those that are watching on youtube or viewers hey y'all why are we catering to such a small minority in america like why as americans why as christians why as a culture why as a world have we begun catering to such a small group of people they like are. we act like they're we act like they're the majority of americans identify that, as this community and it's not the truth that's not the truth they are roughly 331 million people actively living here in the u.s so we have a question we have a question for you now 
Why are businesses, TV shows, organizations bending over backwards for a group of people of roughly 18 million? 18 million out of 331 million people. Do you know what that is? 5.4% of the population are part of that community. Why are we giving them an entire month when they only make up 5.4% of our communities? But let's think about this. Let's put it into perspective. Okay. Okay. Perspective mm-hmm. says this. Christians currently living in the U.S. make up about 62% of the current population. I don't have no Christian month. I can't even have Christmas anymore. Because that's racist and offensive to Jews and Muslims. Because we can't even say Merry Christmas. Now we got to say Happy Holidays. So why are we continually backing down, lowering our standard as American citizens, as Christians, and saying, oh, we don't want to offend you Mm -hmm. because we need to appeal to the minority as compared to the majority of Americans. And instead, give them a minority American Mm -hmm. who makes up 5.4% of the population an entire month. But let's think about this. Let's say, hypothetically, okay, okay, for for argument's sake, we want to cater to the minority. Okay. okay? For whatever reason, whatever stupid person came up with the idea. Like we're doing now. Right. Okay. So let's just say that. We're, We're hypothetically saying we want to cater to the minorities living in the U.S. Fair. How about the minority of the veteran community that makes up how much of the population in America? 5.8%. So, so it's technically a minority, still more than the LGBT current mm-hmm. community in the U.S., but it's still a minority. Why do the veterans not have an entire month dedicated to their sacrifice? Right, because they actually are doing something and... and Living, li- being willing to lay down their lives for they're, something. They are actively helping the other hundreds of million people living in the U.S. Mm-hmm. to further their education, their safety, their, their rights, li- their rights, their ri- their life, their livelihood, their freedom, everything that makes up living in America so amazing, the American dream. They're actively preserving it. Mm-hmm. But in the LGBT community, what are they actively doing? Living their life as they should as an American, or but they're as, not benefiting those around them. I really love this perspective of somebody I follow, and he says he's gay, Christian Walker, and but he hates Pride Month, <laughs> he does. and he calls it out in such a a great a great way. Which that's a whole other topic. But why? Are those people, they're doing nothing for America. They're doing nothing for this country. All they do is they have the the rights and all they want to do is go and have this month that's all about them, have these parades and parties where they're literally half naked walking down the street being incredibly inappropriate and shoving it in your face while all rave, why waving a rainbow flag. Yeah. Like that's all, they, they're not that's, contributing. That, that's the, the climax of it. As a community and what they're identifying as for the month, they're not contributing in that aspect. Sure, maybe they have jobs that help this, you know, they're helping us humans, but in that specific community aspect there's of their life. There's no benefit. There's no benefit to America. Granted, we also don't agree with the choice of their lifestyle, but right. regardless of our personal opinions, if somebody wants to live in that lifestyle, Live in the lifestyle. We disagree, but live in it because you're in the U.S. You have that opportunity to live in it. The only difference that we are noticing these days is that if you disagree with that lifestyle, you are now demoted, devalued, um, hated upon hated for upon that reason. For that reason. So let's go back to the minority. It makes sense. Oh wait, that's right. The left has, has no, no sense. sense. Let's break down the word minority real quick. People have used that word to mean something negative. Typically, lower income people, um, blacks, Hispanics, whatever category. But that's typically when someone says minority. And I suspect in the next five years, minority, people won't know the real meaning of it. Right. Minority actually just means a small group of people. So, like, if I was, I don't know, going to, I almost went to an all-black school mostly all black school Mm -hmm. it was a school for the arts in a downtown area i being a very white blonde girl white white as wonder bread as some may say or cracker i guess people like to call us that (laughs) that's also true (laughs) 
that I would be a minority in that school. Mm-hmm. That has nothing to make. That doesn't say I'm bad or I'm wrong or I'm less than. Mm-hmm. That just means it's minority. A, it's a statistic. Or majority. It's literally data. It's a data. It's a fact. So, we just put that out there. Okay, because what facts don't care about <gasps> your, your feelings. feelings. Aww. You sad about that? <laughs> that's too bad. But let's look at it from a business perspective. Okay. Let's use this analogy that actually Mama Patriot helped mm-hmm. us walk through this one. And she brought up a really good point as to why catering to the minority actually screws societies up, screws businesses up. Yes. So, so you want to take this one? Oh, yeah, sure. So Mama Patriot, years, years ago, used to manage a apartment compl- an apartment complex. Like, like 3,000. 3,000 a lot okay and so she would do her job do her thing whatever killing the game slaying the game but here's the thing they would be out of three thousand four thousand apartments about three to four people three we'll say three to five we'll be generous three to five people you're really generous i'm really generous because it was more like two two to three three is what she told me but that's okay i'm being nice for the sake of being nice three to five people come up to her into you know her office where she's working and they complain they complain about the conditions that they're living in they don't like this about their apartment they don't like this about the location they don't like xyz their neighbor blah 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 the pool whatever the case may be and they would they would just whine about it they would make fusses and complain all the time but here's the thing if mama patriot or mom if she were to be like, you know what? I am so sorry you're feeling these emotions and you're saying these things to me. I am going to change every single thing that you have complained about, complained about to make your living life experience better. When in reality, 3,500 other people are not complaining. Yeah. They don't give a crap because they're it's, fine. It's fine. It's not a real issue. And that's a common theme we're seeing in this country. Real issue or issues that aren't really real and they're not majority of people are okay the first issues might be real but the majority of people aren't experienced them and so if you were to look that look at that from a business standpoint if my mom mama patriot if she were to adjust everything to accommodate those three to five people yeah and their complaints the business the apartment complex would fail and it would lose money. But here's another example. Because the mass majority of people don't need all these extra added changes. It's like this. If for our merch, one more example, if our merch that we have, which by the way, you can go to the patriotsisters.org slash shop. Check it out. But if we took our merch, and we've had this happen. Somebody mm-hmm. had commented or messaged us about a particular design we had and said, hey, I don't really like this aspect of it. Could you change it? Okay. It's fair to ask. Thank you. I love feedback. But if I were to change that and spend it's a lot of money to get these things out for you guys, if I were to change that for one person, then only one person is satisfied when we have thousands of other people who, who are happy with what we gave them. And probably won't buy this new product because they don't they're not asking for it. They don't need it. It's and it's a very specific change. It's a very detailed that change. not everybody would probably enjoy as much as this particular person. Or benefit from. So that's something we have to balance as a society, whether it's BLM or this is pride, balancing between, hey, no, you're just a bunch of crybabies mm-hmm. and trying to scream really loud. To get your point across as compared to, oh no, oh my gosh, like 70, 80% of the country believes this way. We might, you know, make something. But that's actually not the truth. Now, a real business person would look at the the problem, look at the complainer, and be like, all right, so I hear you. That might feel like a very real problem in your life, and that's very valid. It could be. Maybe, maybe not, but it could be. But what I'm going to do as a business person is look at your problem compared to the current problems the mass majority of people are talking about and complaining to me about and just life in general and find a similar problem and then fix that. So it betters you and the majority of people, not one versus the other. Right. Because the minority will always scream the loudest. They will always be the, the headache that you're currently experiencing. But why are we why are we looking to take this minority group when they really feel like it's a, it's an issue and that 
oh my gosh, so many people are feeling this way. I identify and choose to be a part of this community and forcing it upon other people. The issue is, I guarantee so many of those people don't actually, and this is probably going to be very controversial, what the Uh next segment we're going to get into. Uh (laughs) But why are we catering to the most? Okay, so many people in that community, I would make the bet, don't actually truly identify as what they say they identify as of what they weren't born with. Now, what would cause them to want to publicly make that claim? Because there has been such indoctrination into our really our children and our teenagers. So the school system. And the schooling system and our TV shows and our movies that kids, I've seen kids, young, young as the age three, talking about all these bisexual, heterosexual, like things, I'd, words I don't even know exist. Talking about well, you know this. What heterosexual. Is. Yes. Okay. But other I just ha- I just have to ask. Other <laughs> things that I I still don't even know what they mean. Like okay, and I honestly I don't want to know. I don't want that ingrained in my heart. Like like pansexual. Right. Like no like, child needs they to don't know need that. To know what that means. We don't even making up words for things that define that word. But like ugh. we have an issue. Keep the innocence of a child. Yeah. Keep the innocence of a child. Because there's a, the, there's a reason why children are naive and innocent in certain areas of life until a certain age when it's appropriate to introduce, them introduce to it to them. Because their brain is developing enough yeah. to be able to, to handle, handle that. it. But have you heard of a company or an organization rather by the name of GLAAD? G-L-A-A-D. And no, we're not talking about your trash bags. No. It's a different thing. Different GLAAD. Um, but trash bag company, that's fine. But this well, for company, now, I actually, actually I don't, I don't know. Really know. But this Glad company we're talking about, not okay. Because what are they doing over in L.A., Hollywood? So they're basically Hollywood's biggest lobbying lobbying firm. Um, and their goal is to, quote, rewrite the script for LGBTQ acceptance. They forgot the plus. That's awkward. Awkward. As a dynamic media force, Glad tackles tough issues to shape the narrative and provoke dialogue that leads to setting up campaigns to, quote, drive LGBT inclusion and advertising and marketing. So essentially, their goal is to get this agenda into every aspect of media, your TV shows, your marketing, your digital, your print, um, your physical, like it doesn't really matter, like every part of digital media, TV shows, movies, whatever, ads into the LGBT community. They've even gone as far as committing to pressuring the industry of movies and TV shows and commercials, um, or excluding commercials, I'm sorry, just TV and movies. To have 50% of those projects. Yeah, of characters in each of those TVs and movie shows. To promote some way, in some shape or form, the LGBTQ community. 50% of it. It's saying if you have, let's say, a... I don't even know. What's, What's a TV? Good Luck Charlie. Good Luck Charlie. Well, I don't even know if they still film. I, I they don't. They, okay. They don't. Whatever. If they have... Because that, that was the first show that I saw something in. Yes. That was a big thing for that Disney. That was huge. But let's say there are 10 characters on the show. Glad is committing to pressuring the industry to make at least 50% of those characters... So five characters. ...part of the LGBT community. community. Now, why is that an issue? Well, why are we committing to promote and push an agenda that only 5.4% of the commu- of the world, or the U.S., identifies with? That makes no sense. That is a crappy business model, okay, first off. Like Second if of you all, act- it makes no sense. It, where's the common sense in that? It's stupid, it's moronic, it's idiotic, and it's ridiculous that that's what our culture has come to. And why aren't we... Catering we- to... Freaking less than 6% of the population in America. If we want to cater to the majority of Americans, why aren't we saying, hey, which I would never promote, but hey, let's make 50% of the characters be Christians. And I don't even promote that because that's, I'm not pressuring anybody to do anything. It's a choice to follow and believe in Jesus and accept accept him as your Lord and Savior. I'm not pushing that. Over 50%, what is it? It's it's, uh, 62% of Americans make up the Christian population. So why are we always catering? Why do we have these lobbying firms? You need to be aware if you have kids, siblings. It is in shows like My Little Pony, 
Blue's, Blue's Clues, Arthur, Doc McStuffins, The Bravest Knight. Like, it is... Hey, Doogie. Everywhere. They're coming after your kids. They've committed to those, like, five or six shows to do it first, so watch them. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not watching Arthur anymore. I used to back in the day, but watch them. I babysit kids, and I will be telling their mother, because I know she, she this, she's totally anti this community and and we're enforcing it onto her kids mm-hmm. i'm gonna let her know you and should, i want you, you to should, let them know yeah, if you know someone let them know if you're a mom be aware do what you gotta do to protect your kids and their innocence because that is so valuable that how you change your culture is through the younger generation and that is by protecting them yeah you want to know who sponsors this organization no. well you want to know mm-hmm. delta and it's a, some vodka company called Kettle One. These companies are sponsoring them. We have an issue with that. Very big issue. So we just need to be aware. This is not cancel culture. No. Nope. Cancel culture is going publicly shaming them publicly and, and it's a conjunction together mm-hmm. saying. It's, sorry, go on. <laughs> I was going to add, it's a bridge, so you're continuing right, the thought. Right. Actively. Uh, bashing them and calling for people to then go and risk their um, safety, mm-hmm. to risk their life in that aspect. That is cancel culture. We're saying, hey, these are their facts. Do with it what you want. And if you don't like what they're saying, what are some ideas that you can do mm-hmm. in order to voice your to opinion? voice your opinion. Because you can't necessarily call up the CEO of Delta <laughs> or anybody to voice your opinion. Right. So, but what do we believe? Because I know people are going to be asking. We personally believe that choosing this type of lifestyle is a sin. Okay, so do with as you wish. We're not promoting it in any aspect, saying that any law that has been passed on their behalf should be passed. We're not saying that. We're not saying that. But also, get what we're saying is this part. Because it is a sin, it does not make the sin greater than lying, stealing, cheating, witchcraft, adultery, etc. No sin is greater than the other. They're all the same. Mm -hmm. They all have the same amount of value. And it all breaks God's heart to watch it happen. It's saddening. It's disappointing. Um, But we don't promote it. We don't condone it. Um, That as well. We truly, truly, it's hard to watch people live this lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And we don't necessarily have the authority to speak in somebody's life we don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, But maybe you know someone who does, and you can show them love through that. I I mean, mean, I know people that are actively living this lifestyle and didn't used to live this lifestyle of the LGBT community. And it's hard. And it's hard. Gosh dang, it's real hard, especially when they say they're Christian. But at the same time, we all sin. All sin's the same. And it's all sin is a choice. It's all sin. (laughs) Let's talk, girlfriend. All sin is a choice. You're not forced into it. It is not some, yeah, I don't know, like, whatever. It's a choice, okay? And yeah. LGBTQ community is a choice. Simple as that. And all sin has a way to have be helped and delivered from that. Yes. So, we'll say that. Okay. So, but what can you do? We want to give you an actionable step of something that you can do in today. your community today, mm-hmm. tomorrow, next month, next year, and even, like, for each, as long as it takes. <laughs> to help stop this indoctrination. Yes. Number one, you can. Oh, share this share this episode of Unleashed with the Patriot Sisters. Share it to social media, social media, Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter if you're on Twitter. Anything else you want to do, parlor, share it. Get this word out so they also have mm-hmm. these actionable steps and facts to combat what is happening in their current communities. And why it's such a pressing issue and it's happening all around us without us even knowing it. Um, and you can do this by sending them the link mm-hmm. to this episode, whatever platform, send it, have them listen to it. We try to keep our podcast under 30 minutes so it's easy to get on a quick car ride and all that. But step number two, we're launching a, we're going to call it a mini campaign for, for the, the month. month of June. Yes. Mm-hmm. And we might even keep it going depending... It's, it should be an, it's going to be an evergreen, ever living campaign. We're going to just, we're going to figure it out together, guys. But this campaign is called When It Happens, Turn It Off. So what does that mean? It means that when you're watching a TV show or a movie and there's an LGBT moment character that is brought into the episode, turn, turn it, it off. off. 
Why turn do we off. say turn it off? Because there's these, actually a strategic reason to why. <laughs> right. It's not just for your benefit and protecting your heart and soul and, and your eyes. Because, you know, the Bible says the windows are the gateway. The windows. Your eyes are the windows to your heart. Your soul. Soul. I got you. You got me. You confused me. I did say windows. It's window. okay. It, you know what? A lot of the words can be interchangeable anyway. Okay. So I got you. But the reason why we're saying this is because strategically... When, you know, people go back and look through analytics of their videos. They actually track this. Mm -hmm. Public, or news networks, networks, everybody tracks. Shows, movies. When, and through an episode, they can see when people drop off, when people jump up, Mm -hmm. everything. We can see that on our podcast, when people drop off and come up. Even YouTube, basic YouTubers have this information. So then the the people who are producing the content know. Sure as heck have this information. They know when, oh wait, hey, maybe when we start to talk about this LGBT, people were losing views. And I'm going to even urge you to take it a step further. Don't turn it back on. Stop watching the TV show. Mm-hmm. Stop watching the movie. Well, I've had to do that. It's uh, hard. Do it, you know how many times I am in a show, a new, new whatever, okay? I'm, I'm digging big, it. I'm digging it. I'm mm-hmm. binge watching that stuff. I am freaking loving it. I'm about to turn into a fan girl, okay? And then all of a sudden, my favorite character freaking becomes gay or lesbian or whatever you know how disheartening that is very disheartening but you know what feels better standing up standing up because i feel empowered in the moment i don't want to do it let's be honest nobody wants to especially when they love something they don't want to stop why would they want to stop something they love right like watching a new show mm-hmm. but looking back on it never ever have i regretted it turning it off yeah never not once have i was like oh you know what maybe i could just keep on watching no I've never regretted it. So do this for your TV shows and movies and do this for commercials. I guarantee this month over the next 30, 29 days or so, there are going to be commercials from Wells Fargo, Delta. These companies will be pushing it. It could be Old Navy promoting their pride wear, whatever it may be. Anything. When you see it, immediately turn it off off because they'll see the viewership drop. Mm -hmm. And they encourage your friends to do so. That's something you can actionably do. Um, to tell these companies, hey, we're not digging this. This your your viewers. Mm-hmm. This is not what we like. So try it for a month. We got the month of June. Here we are. Try it for a month. See how long it lasts. Maybe it lasts you out of the month of June. Um, but challenge yourself to thirty days of this. Just when it happens, turn, turn it, it off. off. <laughs> All right, y'all. That is our episode for you today. I'm so glad you watched. Ooh, how do they share? Action step number one. Uh, share it with your friends on uh, share the link of this podcast or also um, we're going to be on YouTube and Rumble mm-hmm. share it on there as well um, and then turn it off when you see it turn it off as always we'll see you in the next one mm-hmm.